I'm Mac. Hey, I'm Josh. Hello, I'm Liam. And I'm Reese. Hi, I'm Renee. And I'm Michael. <laughs> and we're the Ferris family and we grow stone fruit in Ballandine, Queensland. The Ferris family are fourth generation orchardists. On this farm, there's 25 hectares of land on which they grow some of the most outstanding stone fruit, such as nectarines, plums, cherries, and apricots. Probably my favourite fruit is to grow is the apricot because it's such a difficult crop to grow. It's sometimes very, very hard to get uniform crops and uh, get colour and flavours and your sugars up. But this year has been excellent. They're underneath these plastic covers here that I've imported out of Germany. They've made absolute big difference to my production. It's increased me my production figures now from around about a 30% loss in rejects to only about a 2% loss in rejects. They've stopped everything from splitting, bird damage, any hail damage and even frost prevention. I'm able to guarantee my product to the consumer and this is what I'm really enjoying. We normally start harvesting on about the 21st of October most years on our first early apricots uh, right through to Christmas time uh, so we can have it from yeah, on the Christmas table. We normally choose a good apricot by getting full colour from the from the nose to the tail of the apricot. It has to get yellow or golden all the way through and must have a little slight give in the skin when you pick it up gently. They shouldn't be stored for any longer than a maximum of three days. They should be eaten. The nectarine crop is also looking outstanding with the ferruses harvesting what's called subacid varieties. Sub acid is uh, from a very early age. It has sugars. This fruit, in a lot of ways, is is sweet, even when it is firm. It makes it a little bit more of a consistent fruit for the for the public to eat. Like most farmers across Australia, it's been a tough few years, but the Ferrises are pretty philosophical about what nature deals with. We've had some recent challenges coming out of drought and then into um, very, very heavy rainfall this season. Uh, so we've had to draw on um, knowledge that we haven't used for quite some time <laughs> um, in how to farm in, in wetter, in a wetter season. This summer we're really looking forward to just being able to market a product that is full of flavour and much bigger in size than last year. Um, it was so dry last year, the fruit was smaller. Everything is shaping up to be just so beautiful and big and full of colour and flavour. Michael and Renee would love to keep the farm in the family, with the kids taking over the reins in the future, but only if they're keen. We reckon the youngest Ferris, Reese, shows a bit of promise. Uh, my name is Reese and I am 10 years old. My favourite fruit is the blum pl blood plum. Um, I like the blood plum because it's really juicy. My favourite part of living on the farm would be to eat the fruit <laughs> and how great it and stuff like that. I help on the farm by sometimes in the shed, packing, um, bucket boy. I reckon I would eat about 10 pieces of fruit a day. Everything is hand-picked to reduce bruising and marks. At the height of the season, they'll pick around 40,000 kilos a day. Once picked, washed, waxed, sorted, grated and packed, it gets to our Queensland Aussie Farmers Direct customers' fruit and veg box within 24 hours. That's our promise. Read more about our growers in the latest issue of Aussie Farmers Direct magazine, available free to customers or for download at aussiefarmers.com. .com.au. Aussie Farmers Direct is all about always 100% Australian. Supporting Aussie farmers. Convenience with free home delivery by your local milkman. Freshness. Fresh products delivered direct from the farm to you. And value. Always at the best prices. Call 1300 Milkman.